Hello, gentles and lady men. I'm Ulan Gaming. I am joined by my good friend Dapsley. How's it going? Not too bad. Not too bad. Excited to see what this game has in store. All right. So today we'll be casting games one and two of my uh, series three in the tournament against McLeaves, a very, very strong player. Uh, one that I was not entirely confident going up against. In fact, he was kind of the first opponent where I was like, ah, this is the first time where I really feel outclassed rather than like neck and neck with my uh, with, with my opponent. But you know, we're we're going at it anyways. And uh, I'm playing Malta against his Howden Ashoni. And you know, it's uh, it, it's Rush Civ versus Turtle Civ, and uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of you know. Well, we can be ready for that. Um, this map is Hokkaido? Yes, this is Hokkaido. Right. We're on Hokkaido. Alright. So, so this, what's really done is I, I clicked around these tigers, these, these snow leopards, trying to make sure I got both of them because they were right on top of each other. And I clicked around like ten times and I still only got like that one tiger. And then my explorer tried to go and take this damn treasure while the other one's still alive. Wow. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's take a look at our at our decks. Now that now that we have the first shipment coming in for, for okay. all of us. So uh this is my order unit deck. Uh, so I'm starting with three hills, and then I'm going to be transitioning into German immigrants in transition, and then using 400 wood from my age up to go British tongue immediately afterwards and get two commanderies, um, settler wagons followed by longbows. Is the is interesting? The yeah. All right, and uh, has Cleves Cleves hasn't taken a trade post? Is he building a dock with his age one Trevois? He did not. He built a longhouse. I was thinking he was going to build a dock as well. Mm. And in fact, he even chose some water cards, but he did not build a dock. It's a very interesting choice. Usually, if you go for the longhouse, you chop a little extra to get a trade post. But I guess he's planning on some kind of rush. Uh, yes, yes, he is. I mean, you know what he's doing. You, you played this game, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. He, he I'm trying to figure it out. Planning some kind of rush. I'm not exactly sure how his build order works, and I'm excited to, to watch it unfold. Yeah. Because I only know the output, you know? I don't know, Seems I like don't a know the how. This, this is my quick first, age, though. This is actually my first time watching the replay of the game. Yeah, it's a, he starts aging at uh, yeah, just under three minutes. Using the wise woman, which I don't remember what the wise woman gives. I... Yeah, that's not the chief. I don't know any of them but the chief. <laughs> I'll be real honest. The chief is the settler one, right? Uh, yes. I will have to keep an eye on what the wise woman brings. Okay, let's see. The messenger is the... I've started aging Ask with the quartermaster. Let me see if I can Google this. Okay. I started aging with the quartermaster, and I have 14 bills on wood trying to get the, the German immigrants. We're exploring each other's bases, or so just, you know, dropping by. So, the Howd Wise Woman in Age 2 ships 200 food, 100 wood, 100 coin, and a trevois. Gotcha. That's actually pretty kick ass. Yeah, but I, the chief is so common, or the messenger sometimes, that I, I've never, legitimately, never used the Wise Woman. <laughs> for H2. I mean, maybe not for... I mean, the chief got nerfed in H2, so I guess it makes sense to branch out a it, little bit. It did? I believe it got buffed back in some way. Yeah, but it's still worse than it was before. It used to be it three is. settlers. It used to be three settlers, and then they changed it to two settlers, and now it's two settlers and a healer. Two settlers. Okay, so this the wiki is up to date for once. So no longer gives you a Trevois? Oh no, it still gives you a Trevois. You always get a Trevois okay. with aging of how that's like their Civ bonus. That's... Okay, so it's just, instead of three villagers, they get two and a healer, so they're still... That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. At least you're still getting something. Exactly. 
Alright, so there's a war hut going up in the very center of the map. Very forward. Uh, and I have a uh, very conservative commandery here with uh, settler wagons over in the back. We have 20 settlers right now in pop 21 settlers right now. Uh, it says 19, but two of them are wagons, so. And we have the uh, the British tongue on the way as well. Mm -hmm. So what's... What's McCleaves doing here? Is he gonna, gonna be hitting that big place. button soon, or um, it looks like he's saving up for it? Yeah, it looks like he's saving up a whole bunch of food. So he's gonna be uh, he's training five doing a batch blocks. plus the town center big button. To... Uh, no, he, I think he's just training units. I don't think he's doing the big training. Thing. Yep, he just started another batch with pretty good timing there, actually. Oh, and oh. Uh, he just shipped five as well. I think just shipped them. Interesting. No, he. Where, where the fuck did he get the other five? I guess oh, he must have pushed the big button. Yeah, I we, think he hit the big button. Okay. Wasn't on the sidebar. Weird. And he's he's got the Kanya coming in. He's got. Well, I have the longbows hmm. here. And longbows are in. God, look at that range. Very good. It's tomahawks, but once the Kanya comes in, that's a little spooky. So he's given up on the tracking down that cart. Oh, or not. He, he never spotted the cart, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah he seemed like he was a dis no, dis some, dis some, some, some Kanya with five more Tomahawks on the bottom, and he's starting to train Ayana. I unfortunately yeah. thought his Tomahawks were going up here. Uh, they did not. They looped back down here. <laughs> so those guys are going up nowhere. And uh, here's incredibly me aggressive. A, a hospital. It's actually been missing out on a few villagers just to. Be, I'll be charitable. Also, that's to keep up military production. I don't. Could just be a, a slight mistake. Not having the TC working constantly. Uh, they're going so far away. <laughs> but they're now, gonna find him. That now I've actually spotted his military. I'm like, oh shit. So my military is going out to this commandery that's getting built here, and it's gonna hop straight in, so I can get back oh, to my beautiful. base. Beautiful. And I have five pikemen coming out to help deal with the Kanya as well. <sighs> oh, you gotta love the the, the, the multi teleportation. It's such a great mechanic. Yep. I, I I made a mistake with positioning, and I'm just like, wait, no, I can fix this. I can fix this. Yeah, it was very convenient location turned out to be. Got right up. On Got one of the Kanya. Kanya there. Oh. Look at this position Ooh. with the bows. Oh, nice. I wasn't even seeing them picking them off. I was too busy looking at what these pikemen are doing. They actually, did they kill three Kanya? So that shipment sends five, I believe, right? Or he, five he is had, a lot. He Maybe had it's five. just four. Uh, he had five, I think. Wait, yeah. no. Maybe he just had four, but there's two left. I say five, five is a lot of cav to ship. Yeah. It might just be a four, but they're they're kind of weak. They are kind of weak. So what is this? Albergs. Oh. Uh, this makes my order oh. units more, uh, their normal cost instead of extra cost. Ah, so it's interesting you're sending it that early. I would think you would really want to save that into like the later game. No, it's it's pretty great, especially because longbows in particular get a, a pretty nifty cost reduction from it. It also mm -hmm. makes uh, commandery support population, which is way more valuable early on than it is later. Oh, I forgot it does, does the additional uh, effect of it. I thought that got removed, but I guess it just got lessened. No, it's not 20 population anymore. It's 10 population. Yeah. Still really good. That was a... That was maybe like a month after the expansion dropped, so that's actually a, a pretty old change. Mm -hmm. Now, he, uh, he, he makes a little bit of a bad trade here, just because Order Longbowmen have ridiculous oh, no, okay. DPS compared to AM. Um, <laughs> and I also looks like he's... have the hospital that can heal my units when they're idle. Let's see, it looks like he's picking up wood from uh, Home City. I thought for a second it looked like he was uh, 
macroing for age three. He might still be, but he doesn't have coin shipments right away. Yeah, he doesn't have any coin shipments in his deck, so he's collecting all the He's taking this now. fight, which the Tomahawks are doing pretty well in, in close quarters here. Yeah. Nope, he's sending Aina. He's just keeping his foot on the gas here. Yeah, exactly. He's just trying to keep the he's just trying to keep the base strong. You know. He's just gonna mine for his age three. And age. I'm trying to get to my age three as well here. I'm sending seven hundred mm -hmm. coin. Uh, I am trading a whole bunch of pikemen, but I'm like I I have enough ego here. I have uh, thirty nine settlers that you know I I can just gather the food. You know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a pretty similar right now. Actually, have a similarity in that they don't. Neither one of them have a two Falk equivalent shipment in H three. That is very true. Yes. So they that would normally be something that's very scary for either of these sieves, but. Oh, the motor longbows, don't go that far. You're probably perfectly within range of him. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think you are, should get a big power spike in H3 just because Houds have such a killer H3 and your units are going to sort of auto shadow upgrade. Yeah, of course. He's aging up with um, the warrior. Warrior. Which I think... Which I believe I I'm not gives sure you Aina. Okay, so Aina. So, oh, it gives you Aina in H2. In H3, it gives you four mantlets. Oh, that's where so the that's... mantlets came from. Okay. Uh, and I'm aging up with, of course, the bishop, uh, but I'm doing so with uh, hospitality through faster age up. Again, though, such an interesting choice for the the age up. Because I, I don't think I've sent the warrior ever except for in age four to get the light cannon. And... Ah. He's probably trying to. Well, he's, he's trying to probably try to hit like an H three power spike with military. To yeah. Because he knows he can't. He probably knows he can't out boom Malta with Houd. Yeah, just very very aggressive choices. He went for the resources, the instant resources over the villagers. He went for the mantlets over anything else. Just really wants to put his foot on the gas here, but I don't know if he's making enough progress. Now the nice thing about. Um, Age three with, with Malta is that all of the order units immediately shadow tech, and you don't need to worry mm -hmm. about it. And you'll see me start to make some Hussar out of this Northern Commandery, because uh, I now have a whole bunch of gold. Yeah, five Hussar right here. I was just about to ask if you were considering making Hussar. You past you is one step ahead of me? Question mark. <laughs> I had been planning on making Hassar uh, for mm -hmm. for a little bit, and then decided to age up instead because that's, that's how the battle looks like it was gonna go. Yep. The second that's CC the... is going up here to claim this coin mine. Yep. That's a big strength with Malta's cavalry, which are otherwise maybe the worst cavalry in the game. Yeah, it's it's funny because Malta has like no cav cards and very little cav yep. upgrades, but they have great cav because they have so many different cav types. <laughs> That's it. Just so many different cav types and oh, then the right. oh, SARS so the start, shadow cav. He starts pushing into this commandery here. So I drop my whole army into the commandery and set it up yeah. over here so we have a big fight. The five hus just came out. They're going for a little flank. Going for a little flank. This is a big army. It is on McLeave's hard. side, though. He's got Ayana, Howden, uh, he's got Ayana, uh, Tomahawks, and the, uh, the the big dudes, but the Cavs coming in behind. Oh my goodness, those age three. I underestimated the age three longbowmen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they have twenty two attack. Are those Tomahawks upgraded yet? No, they are not. Oof, that that explains it. They are because before they were. Trading pretty evenly in close quarters this time. And the GG is that was not the case at all. After that army dies, which is fair. I'm at forty-three yeah. villagers to his thirty-three, and I, I just wiped his army. And yeah, not a long game, but pretty action-packed. Yeah, it, it was a pretty action-packed game. Uh, it, it's I like this game because I beat McLeaves, uh, and McLeaves is good. That's recent enough. Uh, 
you know, it, it shows yes. off the order longbows uh, a little bit. I think people underestimate the British tongue uh, quite a bit, and a lot of a lot of people also don't know how to use the the German immigrants in a safe way in age two. And for me, the safe way is to get German immigrants and British tongue, uh, German tongue and British tongue like right after each other. Yeah. Uh, which... It is an awkward situation for Howd, because you went very defensive yes. in this game. And that, that's but... where, this is where you can go very, very right. defensive, even while doing the German settler mm -hmm. thing. So, he was kind of yes. throwing himself over by not really investing in much economy, but that's yeah, he, when you're he, Howd, was trying, he was trying to do like a, an all-in rush, and mm -hmm. unfortunately I was just a little bit too defensive for him in this yeah. game. When, when you're Howd, you just, there's no way you can get a better economy than Malta come the late game. So you kind of do just have to slam your head into the wall and try to win however you can early. In fact, after this game, he basically just said, fuck, fuck Malta in the chat. He was just <laughs> like, I, I hate Malta, screw you. <laughs> it's, it's a weird sieve. It's, it's both kind of terrible and also really, really good. Yeah. It molts us very weird like that. Okay, we are Ooh. back for game two. Uh, this is main versus main, USA versus Hausa. Uh, interesting. And this is the way more interesting and fun game of the two. Okay. Uh, what? What's this map? Is this uh, the Alps? Is, like this is Balkan Mountains. Or what is this? this is Balkan, Balkan Mountains. Mountains. We have the city towers in the center, big Good. treasures in the middle. Uh, action packs game from beginning to end. It's uh, it, it, the, the I, I'm there's a lot of settler deaths in this game as well. This is a very interesting map. This one's definitely not in a standard rotation, correct? Uh, I think I don't think it is. I think it might be though. Uh, this hmm. is one of our tournament games though. This is this is one of our tournament maps. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I, I wasn't sure what list you were working with with the tournament. That's Bonga guy's Bonga. name's Bonga Bonga. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I, I feel like I'm like eighty percent sure that's his own creation. Yeah, that's there's a like small chance that that's legitimate. Bonga I, don't, I don't know Bonga. enough about Hausa uh, <laughs> dialects. Like, uh, I just Google that and find that that's a very, very like respected historical figure. <laughs> in Nigeria, but... I, I doubt it. Bunga Bunga uh, yeah. sounds way too made up. I... You never know, man. But, yeah, this interesting map, interesting sieves, you know, I was talking earlier about um, yeah. sieves that have very defined strengths and weaknesses, and uh, Hausa was definitely not one of those sieves when it was released. Uh, <laughs> but it's oh. gotten a lot of nerfs since then. Ooh, we got a... <laughs> We got a little steel here. Oh, he sees it. Just peeked it out, I think. Got yep. it. <laughs> oh. 100 food, too. That's not a small treasure. You could see the... <laughs> Come on. I could actually see the... I have no logical explanation, but I could see the... the the spite in Bonga Bonga's eyes from... <laughs> As if you needed that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a one hundred. That was a big treasure too. That was a big one hundred food. What was guarding it? Uh, oh, two, two beasts. Man, two, be two beasts. Yeah. All right, so ah, he's a got a, good... a Morocco build. He's going with his Akan strategy. Oh, nice. Uh, and I am doing a settler push. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but yeah, that's a good treasure for Africa to run into just you see two really strong treasure guardians like oh that's nice i'll just make them fight each other unfortunately uh not today mm -hmm. I, it is interesting how the african explorers just really flip the script on what kinds of treasures become easy to take yeah just like the indian elephants do the same thing yeah it's just the right, you so, want all right so um i kind of decided uh, going into this turn game, I'm like, I, uh, where I was like, I, I know I need to take McLeod seriously, but I have a 2-0 and lead right now at the time yeah. of this recording in, in terms of Series 1 in the tournaments. 
you need three losses in order to get kicked out of the tournament. So I have some breathing room and leeway, so I don't mind messing around a little bit. So I decided that if I won the first game, which I did, I would do a settler push for the second game. Mm -hmm. Now, the advantage of the settler push is that it pushes at about the same time as the marines, but it actually like hits way harder than than marines does. Uh, in exchange, it's more all in than the marines one is. Ooh. Looks like he's getting some payback here. Yeah, he got forty-five wood. He actually thought he 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 actually thought I grabs that one for a second, but he's he's like, oh wait, no. Oh, I thought he was just being overly hard on himself. It's like, ah, I could have beat your ass by more. <laughs> I guess we're even. He's <laughs> damn well not even. One hundred food is way better than forty-five wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We were but pretty yeah, chatty gotta... throughout this game, actually. Mc okay, McCleave's so... Hausa is real scary. I've yeah. seen Platt rage about this so several times. My, my, my start with this, uh, my normal Marine start is to go 20-20 with Settlers and then pop the Minutemen. However, in this one, mm. I go 19 out of 20, wait for 421, and then pop Irish Immigrants so you get four Settlers out of it. Uh, which will, and then pop the three six Minutemen. And so that gives you an overpop of 29 out of 20 instead of 26 out of 20 with three more vills. This, this rush hits at a 20 pop. It's not a rush. It's a fast fortress. Oh. What's up? Where are you getting the res while your villagers are, are fighting? I'm not. Or do they not start attacking until a little later? They don't start attacking until a little later. Ooh, you've got your uh, it's Virginia a, it's, plan. It's a settler push fast fortress, because USA's settler attack card is in the fortress age. I see. Is that with um one of their states? Yes, it is, and you will see it um, as we go. And right now, I've aged up with uh, Virginia, uh, and you'll see me go seven hundred coin and Virginia State Capital. I think it's um, was it like Kentucky Green Mountain, Green Mountain Boys or something, something like that? that. Nope, not quite. Or... He's getting a war camp. All that good jazz. It's been a while since I played US, and I've never really played it in a formal setting. So yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of big treasures in the middle of this map, and it's it's very, very nice to get them. Um, and these, the, the, this is where like USA really shines, is when there's big treasures in the middle of the map. Because you can get these Minutemen and just take it so, so easily. Yep. And you can see I got like 160 food or something like that in the center. Yeah, McCleaves has his Ganansi coming in. Has what now? Oh. Ganansi. Yeah. Enables them to be trained for more camps so they cost population. Yep. Pretty scary. Normally, yes. He kind of walked in. He walks into the wrong strategy, though. You're about to see some pretty funny shit this game. I'm not gonna lie. This game is so this... much fun. I started aging up with Tennessee by now. Mm -hmm. Ah, Tennessee. That's what it was. Yeah, Tennessee. It's called like Overmountain Settlers. That's the one. So, um, I've sent. So here's here's how the build kind of works. I've sent French immigrants which swaps the settler resistance to range resistance. Yep. Uh, it gives them 35% hit points. It doubles their attack from 3 to 6, or in the Courier de Bois case, from 8 to 16. Uh, and then it gives them some extra movement speed as well. What is your command? Get pioneers. Now, that second set of Minutemen. I have my market here so that I have Frontiersmen. Uh -huh. yes. So the settlers have a little bit more HP than normal. Uh, and now we've yeah. just shipped pioneers in transition. Statehood, remind me what statehood does. Statehood the, makes, uh, it gives me a faster age up and doubles my XP traits upon aging. I see. So now we have four uh, sharpshooters for training regulars. And, and then over, over mountain, mountain settlers. settlers gives the minute it gives all my settlers um, some extra range. Uh, it makes them go from 12 to 18 range. Uh, it gives them 12 flat attack, which brings my normal settlers to 6, 18 attack and my Coeur de Bois to 28. Uh, and then it also makes uh, it gives all natural resources a 25% extra yield. Hello. It's a really good card, actually, and I think people should age up to uh, Contenancy more often. 
Yeah, it's definitely not the uh, premier choice, but it's pretty decent. Especially on a, like a resource-rich map, you can make that last so much longer than like anyone yeah. else. So now we have overmounted yeah. settlers, and I'm just training regulars until the Gatling guns arrive and I push. That's literally Excellent. what I'm waiting for. Yeah, so. people always. I guess right now it's not so much as standard, but it used to be that New Hampshire was the only H three F people ever did. All right, so let's let's switch over from to to, to these uh, these Boracon here. Ooh, and then he's got his. Uh, He's oh, that's not the H2 Lafiti, that's just Lafiti. By nine minutes. He's got 21 Akan here, which is normally a pretty We've got a nice push. ball not of infantry ready for him, though. Plus all your settlers. So, what sho what, what, what's shocking about this is a lot of settler pushes generally have pretty low attack. This is not that settler push. Yep. These settlers a have around settlers very them a lot. high attack. They have 18. And the, the oh my! Are, look at these stats on them, man. Three hundred and fifty-three yeah. HP with range resistance. Like, this is the exact thing that his Akon do not want to walk into. Yep, you got the flag down too. Here comes the Lafiti. It actually um, affects the settlers too. I don't think he's going to be able to get to those Gatling guns though. <laughs> Gatling guns are going to be scary for Hausa until they can get a palace and enough export to get culverins. So he's in just full retreat mode. He's literally had to drag box his is con in order to not get overrun by the 4.5 mm -hmm. movement speed. He's got them. He's got both kinds of Akon coming out of the uh, embassy and the war camp here. Yes, he so does. he's he's got everything into Akon production. And then he's making his stand here. Definitely better than making a stand under the flag. That's very true. So, uh, my settlers are the real me the, the force of my army, and they also have no siege. So I kind of have them on army chasing duty, while my, my, while my main army targets the TC. Next level BS. <laughs> and now I go on to his, on his berry bushes and coin mine, so that I can afford my next batch of Minutemen. <laughs> <laughs> this was oh. a big mistake here, though. Um, I kinda yeah, like, you weren't watching. Yeah, I wasn't watching. I let off the gas for a second. He can even get one of those. That's a big... Oh, and now he's a Connor in close. He's going to be able to just shoot him. At a big cost to him, but probably worth it. He just needs those Gatling guns dead. We have some Lafitis that, that shipped in. Uh, they're getting taken care of, though. That, that put him back in the back in the game there. That it was did. huge. It did, yes. That was one of my big mistakes in this game. Now, the, I've lost pretty much all my sieging units by now, which is a really, really big issue. Because he's targeting my military first, which is uh, the smart play here. Yes, these sellers are kicking ass. Yeah, oh, wow, they just shot a Lafiti. Yeah! <laughs> sellers killing Lafiti knights like it's no issue. I mean, it took two uh, volleys from the whole squad there, but it went down. Got the second. Imagine how many volleys it would take normally. So this is second another big issue of with rolling some artillery of my coming micro. in though. This is another issue with some of my micro is that I um I kind of forget that um settlers can't attack move. If you try to get them to attack move, they just walk over there. Do you do another thing of rolling artillery? I do or did do it get canceled? Or rolling artillery. So it's you sent the two and then you sent the one. I did, yes. Uh, I am so planning just... on modifying this deck to have uh, like eight state eight regulars, um, eleven state militia, you know, other things. I I'm planning yeah. on updating this deck to make this strategy a little better, uh, with some That's... changes that I that I plan on uh, w w that I planned on making afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm also killing Hard his cattle. Hard to commit to artillery. I'm also killing his cattle. Upside is the the next rolling artillery. If you bite that bullet, next rolling artillery, you get another three. So that's pretty huge. Ooh, he's got griots. He's fighting with some of his own villagers here. Oh, the griots are. Yeah, that's the probably the. Are insanely good here. Next best. He can't kill the Gatling super easy, but the griots are a very good answer. Yes, they are. Just to lower their DPS. He is suffering so much to get rid of all these, though. 
Yes, he is. All right, you are Let's losing a lot at. to try to keep up the pressure as yes, well. Yes, I so. am. <laughs> He's oh. been idle for I don't know how long now at this point. Can he get that Gatling with his Explorer, actually? So here's here's the thing is... It's going to be very close. As soon as this Gatling gun went down here, I should have exited. Oh, just barely. I, sh I should have exited as soon as that Gatling gun went down. Uh, yeah. But I didn't want to repair his TC, so I stayed in the battle, and it kind of cost me. Mm -hmm. Even if he would have focused down the Explorer, he's it's too close to the town center. It would have gone down anyway. If it stayed there. Yeah, you're not accomplishing too much here. Yeah, because I, I, this is some, some big micro mistakes because these fucking Fulanis have such a tiny model that I keep misclicking them and go onto the TC or just walk next to them and it really oh, screws wow. me over. Yeah. You're murdering those Fulani archers, though. The, the, the Fulani archers are going down, but they lasted way longer than most of his shipments did uh, just because of how hard they were to click and just how much the micro suffered as a result of it. He is. I'm having a hell of, hell of a time getting all these villagers off his lawn. <laughs> these suffers have lasted so long. That's the last of the Fulani dead right there. And he's still inching out like units every now and then. But I mean, he's definitely you're like, coming up on top now. At this point. You're still idling, so I wouldn't say it's a complete misstep here. I don't quite this have is to certainly see annoying. Too. I also don't have any res. I just got my next shipment, and um, guess what? Now that we've done three, two, one, we get three more yep. Gatlings with rolling artillery again. Yeah, but not much to defend it now. Not much to defend it, indeed. So what was your rationale here? Were you hoping you could just... It was low enough that you could just barely get it down? No, my, I, my thing is I couldn't stop because then he would repair it. My, my hope is that I can stop him from repairing it long enough that the Gatling guns can finish the TC off. Mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna take quite a while to arrive, though. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, yeah, just... And now he's starting to push off. back, and uh, he starts to repair his TC as soon as this guy goes down here. I think... Two more settlers just showed up from the back lines. Yep, if he could have kept... Had a little bit more survivability on those uh, first few Gatlings than yes, it, I, I think the DC would have been toast. I think this game would have gone very, very differently had I paid just a little <laughs> bit more attention to that army looping around at the beginning. But now he's repairing it, and I don't quite see this, so I'm just... Oh, they got distracted. They're not throwing torches. They're not throwing torches. Too busy smacking this guy. And then my settler is like, oh, I gotta run away. And I'm like, wait, no, I need to fucking. Yeah, it's already healed a lot. It heals 3,000, up to 3,000 HP before the Gatling guns stop it. And now the Gatling oh, guns are all I have. <laughs> oh, yeah, no villagers. Oh, my good. Probably should have saved that villager. You... I don't have any left or any food. I know. <laughs> So at this point, you're just in too deep. I'm in too deep. You lost in the sauce. Down. You got to get that TC down. Yeah, exactly. But what I realized, honestly, he's a new with an, with that many villagers, though, he can. Yeah, he's already on his way to a new TC's coming up, like right now. I definitely. Ooh, I'm surprised lost he's not. Team. I don't know if that was intentional. He's not running away with his villagers at all. I guess he needs those Gatlings out of the way if he's gonna be able to recover. And now he has four villagers on the map, by the way. Yep. There, are th there are four villagers in total on this goddamn map. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I'm like, I need to stop him from making military uh. if I have any hope of victory here. And just, I, I need to hope I can keep the pressure up. So I gotta kill this war camp. And mm -hmm. He has actual. He actually has resources piled up. Oh my goodness! How did you let it get to this? <laughs> you have to wait for a shipment. And then he you pops don't even the have enough resources right to trade the war in. Camp goes down. Oh, and that's that was sad. CG. If, if I had killed that war camp like 10 seconds sooner, I could have yeah. lived for about another minute You're and a half, probably. 
One pop? Is that one pop your explorer? Uh, no, that is a singular Minutemen that forgot to go into <laughs> battle. I was gonna say, I, don't, I didn't think he took up pop. I mean, that guy could still do something. <laughs> and that was the game. Yeah. Such a fun game. Such a uh, fun game. You you just you needed to pull out with those villagers. I did. I just didn't want his TC. I, I thought it was more worth it to stop his TC from regenerating, and it wasn't. The game probably would have gone yeah. very differently had I saved those Gatling guns. Um, he didn't. I I, I, didn't I, I needed to mine the coin, so I I needed to mine the coin so that I could get my next batch of Minutemen. I, I could have waited until after I had stopped. I killed a little bit more of his army though. He destroyed your entire economy. He never even went into your base. Mm -hmm. Except yeah, at the admit, start, though, it's pretty. It, it's pretty awesome in BM to just like go on your enemy's coin mine and berry bushes. Yep, that was great. <laughs> Anyways, this was game two. I, I'm sure you were thoroughly entertained by it. Yep, good game. Have a great day, gentles and ladymen. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as me and McLean's did. Uh, it was easily our favorite game in this series. Uh, and I will be uploading the live recording for Game 3 up to my channel.